Hello YouTube pipe community, it's Jordan here. Just gonna do a uh, first of many um, carving video, I guess. Uh, so this is the block I chose to use today. I've loosely draw, drawn a shape on, uh, on the block already. So that's kind of how it looks there. Um, so I'll kind of show you how I do it after I, after I draw the loose shape on here. Um, I guess this is going to be kind of a, I don't know what you'd call it, but I really am into the 55 shape kind of pots lately. So this is going to try and be one of those ish. We'll see how it goes. So once I got this marked, I, uh, take my caliper and, uh, I measure the bowl loosely again. This is just all rough measurements. Then I split that in half, so 42, so 21. This is millimeters. And then I'll just loosely mark a center point from both sides just to make sure it looks decent. Like that. So once I got the center point marked, um, I can take any straight edge um, and then just kind of eyeball where I want to go with the drill. Oops, I think I messed that up. Oh, that's right. So I'll make it look kind of straight, even on both sides. Grab my pencil. Let's see how that looks. So draw that on there. Um, I have a homemade spade bit here that I use for the concave part of the bowl at the bottom. It's just a spade bit that I ground down on the bench grinder and then ground kind of knife edges on the sides here so that it digs in. It drills but you want to make sure that you drill it deep enough without this first and then it's kind of just shaping the bottom at that point, right? So that looks pretty even. And I'll take a straight edge and just kind of line it up. This is This one's obviously a little easier uh, because it's not a fancy shape or a curve or crazy like that. So just loosely go again like this. Straight edge. So you can kind of see how that looks there. Um, and then from here, um, without jittering the camera all crazy and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to just take it to the bandsaw quick and I'm going to just try and cut this a bit straight just so I can line it up a little bit easier and then I'm gonna cut this off as well so I don't know how to pause these videos mid video and I don't, I don't have any editing software so I'm just gonna go and quickly do this so the camera will go dead for a minute but uh, I'll be back in two seconds So there we go, cut the block off, and that's kind of how that looks there. So that just gives me a somewhat of a flat edge, um, and a flat edge here, just, just so I can easily line up the drill and such like that. So now what I'll do to find the edge is uh, I'll measure to the tip here with the 
caliper, tighten it off, and then just take and drag it over the top. Oops, it's hard to do and show, so I'm just gonna do it here. Like so, I'm just following the one edge with the other, assuming this is straight. I have done nothing to square this, really. Um, and maybe that's my issue with sometimes not getting a straight drill, but is what it is, because that's what I do. Um, same thing on the bottom. I'll find the center of that hole just on the edge kind of here. And hope I can hold it straight. Find it like that, tighten her down. And then just kind of drag it along. So you can, I don't know if you can see the line on here. But that's kind of that. So then I will find the center of the block, just measure it, it's almost 50, so let's see if it's lighter here, it's 48 there, 48, so 24. And I'll just kind of mark, always from the same side, the center point of my block always from the same side all the way around oops like that and this one's gonna be a bit difficult so I'm just gonna eyeball it like that and if the lines match up which they do then we're good and we have a center there and we have a center there so now I can drill and use my drill press vise so just adjust the camera here. Like so. Okay. Um, so now basically, I'll take a, uh, I don't know what you call these, uh, broad point bit or whatever, pointy bit, put it in my drill press, uh, use my drill press vise. this, but I'm just going to line up the line with the drill bit, just by eye, so that's the way I roll, and you just kind of get a good eye for it, and when it's decently straight, check it make sure it goes straight with the other line that you have here as well on the back no harm done if you check it on the front too it to be pretty straight all the way around so that's kind of how that goes lower the drill and then I just put it down to about where I want it, and I have adjustment screws on the side here for stops. And I just tighten that up so that my drill press can't go too far. Looks good. So then we find the center with the drill press. If all goes well. many times I've done this but I forgot to tighten the drill bit in here 
which kind of messes up all your measuring. small hole done and that's basically just a guide hole so that I can take my uh, Forstner bit it's a three-quarter inch I do all my bowls in three-quarter inch just seems to work out good that way I know some bowls are bigger and such like that but this is what I do and then if you get everything right Adjust this to the already stopped block. You don't have to readjust everything all the time. Just a little bit of trial and error. That's pretty darn close. Again, just line up the hole. and you can kind of see the uh, hole here so that's the bowl hole drill now we do the same kind of uh, adjustment here with the draft hole this bit is I believe it's 530 seconds this is what I use for my draft holes in the pipe. It's pretty long. So same thing. You want to line it up to the line, but you also want to line it up to the bowl hole you just drilled. So make sure that it's even on the top and the bottom all the way. This is going to be a harder one to drill. I have to switch to the longer drill bit. But that's okay. So that lines up like that. But you also, like I just said, want to line this up so that it kind of comes into center with your ball here. And it does perfect. So tighten that. Tighten this. It's pretty straight. This gets tricky sometimes if it's too tall, which it is. So we'll take it out here. side here. If I was smarter I'd have a bigger piece of wood down here but that's okay. I'm do my stop from the last hole. Like so okay so only two piece of wood. drill and kind of hope for the best. <laughs>
going to make sure to clean out your flutes um, of your drill. Briars tends to stick in there and then overheat when you're drilling and then get a little bit of smoking and stuff like that. Not that that really matters. Because you're going to be smoking it anyways. So this is what it is. Okay, just want to double check that I don't go too far here. It's pretty center. So center. Okay, so I'm gonna sink that all the way in. Never take it out of this vise once you start drilling. Never touch it until you see the bottom of that hole. And if you don't see the bottom of that hole, then it gets a little trickier. But that's okay. Where is my thing? Here we go. So the reason I use this bit is uh, it's got that uh, brad point or whatever, so you can get it right, right in the center of your markings and stuff like that. But I also have a slightly longer bit. It's not much longer, but it makes a world of difference sometimes, so I'll be able to get this to go in the center of that bowl. Tighten that up good. to that that's as drilled as it's going into the center it did not come in the bottom of the bowl but that's fine now I'll switch to the spade bit which I will do mostly by freehand I've been doing this a while with drill presses and I don't mind bashed up knuckles and I'm quick at it so um, otherwise you should probably use safety gear for this operation because if it grabs it spins it quite violently and it's not a deal but it is what it is you know what i'm gonna put it back in the place This part just go slow and check and check again. Eventually it shows up in there. Perfect. centered perfectly so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but it's in there pretty centered so that's that that's the drilling portion of it um, so as you're gripping this block and stuff like that uh, you're gonna rub the uh, pencil marks off so I like to just darken them up every once in a while 
just so I don't lose them because now the holes are drilled kind of based on this right so you don't want to uh, you don't want to mess around and misshape it and come through your dropped hole or don't not have enough room for your tenon and stuff like that so I usually do the tenon drill a little bit later I know that's kind of sounds weird but I'll do it by hand um, it's just a little bit easier for me to do um, and that way I can fine-tune this line here so uh, next step I guess is off to the bandsaw so I'm gonna rough cut this shape out of here um, just cut this excess briar off in here so we'll get the really really loose shape of it there um, I'm gonna move the camera I'll see if I can get the bandsaw in there in view and then uh, it's gonna be shaky though because I like I said I don't have any video editing software and I don't have any uh, way of pausing this or I don't know how to anyways so give me one second side here and see if we can get the camera on the bandsaw you can see my tailings from that last cut maybe I'll try and slide the bandsaw over here a little bit in one second Wood. And we'll fire it up. That's that. That's how she looks there. Um, bandsaw leaves some markings and stuff like that. Um, this side I just noticed is a little crooked, but I'm glad I got it all straight like that. Yeah, I guess that one side is off a little bit, but that's okay. So that's that, and there you can still see the shape that I wanted to do. So the next part is I'm going to measure here. And uh, by doing that, I'll be able to get um, the distance I need in here. And I'm just going to take off a big chunk of the middle so that I don't have to sand all of that away. You can sand it. I did, I've done that before because I wanted a unique shape to come like off of the bowl like that. And if you go straight like this, it's kind of hard to do that. But in this case, I kind of want a, a, like a spindle stem or a shank or whatever you want to call it um, so that it comes out kind of curved down. And then I'll do a little bit of a shorter mouthpiece that curves down as well so that's kind of that 
Um, I don't know how long this video is getting to, but it's not too bad, 25 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'll mark this up right now. Just give me a second. Same idea, I got my caliper here. Um, and I will just measure, measure loosely again. Looks like 22.7. I don't know how I do it, but it, these, when I free draw these, it all always seems to come out to like 20, 21, 22, like every single time. So I guess eyeballing it's working for me. Um, so you want the total to be 22.79, but you don't know where the center of this is per se. So we got to figure that out quickly here. So give me one second. I'll usually, I'll just usually split it by like, well, by in half. So 11 and then I'll go a little bit less and then I'll go to the edge of the hole here. And that'll be kind of one mark and two marks. And then from there, it's close. It's a bit bigger, but whatever, as long as I get most of it off, that'll be okay. So then I'll just measure to the edge here. Maybe I'll go a tiny bit less, so 12. And this side should be similar, yeah. So and then we'll just mark it like that. Mark it like that. And then mark it all the way down the sides here so I don't go too deep. So you kind of get an idea like that. And hopefully that's kind of straight. I think I did that off that right side. Looks straight to the bowl. So I'll cut that out. When you're cutting on a bandsaw, never pick the piece up off of the uh, off of the table. Even like this, it's resting here, but not on the top. If you slightly move a bit and the blade grabs it, it'll just and your blade's toast. Um, I've wrecked three blades trying to crazy cut bites like this, so I've just learned my lesson. Um, the other solution you can do is you can take a, a scrap piece of wood and just kind of anchor it if you need to, and then push that through. If you need to, like in this case, the, the bottom here will be flat enough to, to sort it out. So now we still have the shape, um, but now we have a lot thinner of a thing. It's just imagine all of that material basically trying to sand it off like you'd be here for days with the, especially because I use a lower grit sandpaper now on my wheel. Um, when it was 80 or 60 grit, it was like, it wasn't a big deal, right? So, so that's that. That's the basic shape. Um, I think I'm going to end uh, the video like this. And that might uh, might disappoint people, I know, but <clears throat> I don't want to get crazy long. Um, I'm gonna just move you back over to my sitting area here and uh, discuss a couple other things quick. So, a um, couple things actually. Uh, one is uh, I'd like some comments on um, which uh, color mouthpiece I should do. This is rust and uh, black, I think is it's called, or rust and brown or something like that. And then 
This is the same as the volcano pipe that I just recently made, but this one has a lot more interesting design in the middle here and stuff like that. So give me, give me a comment. What do you think will look good on this kind of 55 shape? Um, I don't know. Some people don't like acrylic stems and stuff like that, but that's what I got to work with. So maybe eventually I'll, uh, I'll purchase some, some proper stuff or whatever, but, um, whatever you call it. And uh, I'll do some out of that. For now, this stuff works really well. I mean, the people that don't like it usually is because the uh, it's a little bit harder on the bite. So you can you can use heat shrink or you can use those bits, uh, the covers or whatever, uh, and it rubberizes it a bit better and it's a little bit more comfortable, right? So tell me which one, yellow or or that black and uh, rust one or whatever, and uh, and we'll carve that up um, in another video as well. Um, like I said, I don't want to get this too long. I know some people might be annoyed that I'm <laughs> stopping at this point, but but that's okay. You get the idea. Uh, so that's uh, that's where I'm gonna stop uh, this carving video. I might do a second video quickly here. Um, smoking a bowl here. I got. Uh, I got my little, I don't know what you'd call it, bent brandy, apple, acorn style one, rusticated. I got her all packed up with some uh, C&D, Corne Cornell and Deal uh, after hours flake. It's like, it's an aromatic, I think is what it's called, um, but it's a lot less of a juicy, in my opinion anyways, aromatic. It doesn't have the crazy crazy aromatic flavor to it so I really like it it's a rum kind of esque flavor the description on the tin is is I, I don't have it in front of me but it's good um, so I like it so I might do that uh, in a video here right away let me know what you think about the uh, the shape and um, again uh, about the stem what uh, color stem you'd like to see there um, and we'll get that carved up in the next little bit uh, all right, have a good day, happy smoking, take care everyone, bye-bye.